Hello everybody, this is Stringing Him here to kick off the 2023 iteration of the Spooky Showdown! And we're doing things slightly differently this year because normally in the past few years I've done this tournament around Halloween time. But this time we're, we're going to kick it off at the start of October. And I'm sure you noticed I posted a poll a couple of days ago asking you beautiful spectators what dinosaurs you'd like to see in the tournament. So, without further ado, it is time to reveal the winners. So yes, by popular demand, it was these ten dinosaurs that got in. Black T-Rex, Normal T-Rex, Sorophaganax, Eocarcaria, Irritator, Diceratops, now known as Nidoceratops, Gastonia, Latusaurus, Sejimosaurus, and Eoraptor. These are your ten spooky dinosaurs for this spooky showdown. And a quick look at the uh, movesets I have chosen for them. Nothing too special since we have only a few companions this time. But it is going to be different because instead of having knockout matches, I am going to be doing for the first time a round robin. So as you can see here, all our combats have been tabled up. And also for the first time, we're going to use a different battle method, which you'll see in the video when the battles take place. Each dinosaur will play each other once. Whoever finishes in the top four will face off in, in a knockout match in the finale. And that will hopefully, fingers crossed, or this all goes to plan, will hopefully come out on Halloween. Here is our here's our first round matchups for this session. So if... For those of you that are new to this tournament, to my uh, tournament, so I'll just go through it real quick. So you'll get three points for a win, one point for a draw, no points for a loss, and you will, and your battle points will be how, however many points that the dinosaur racks up at the end of the match. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it will make it easier come the end game for me to separate these guys. If they're like, so yeah, if they if they're level on points, it'll come down to how many battle points they have and who has more. So battle points at this point are irrelevant, but they are a way of me separating these guys because the odds of two dinosaurs having the exact same battle points are pretty minuscule. That's enough of how this tournament works. Let's get on with round one, shall we? Let's announce the fighters. In the red corner, we have got the one and only the life-sapping machine, Lanzusaurus. And I say that because it has power drain and it has Emerald Garden, so it is literally a life-sapping machine. Ooh, could be an underdog in this tournament. It'll be tough for it. In the blue corner, we have got the dinosaur, the irritant of all irritants. It's Irritator. <laughs> oh, I need to find a better announcer. <laughs> Maybe AI generate that can help me. But yes, we have Irritator, the only water dinosaur to make it. it it'll have a lot of favourable matchups against all the fire types, because, you know, fire types are pretty dominant in the Spooky Showdown, because most of the spooky dinosaurs are fire types. Right, let's, let's get some moves generated. And for those of you that don't know how this works, moves will be randomly generated like Moart, like so. One and four will represent rock. Two and five represent paper. Three and six represent scissors. And that is a good start for the Irritator. Get this saved off my screen. <laughs> One. Ooh, the Irritator starting off strong. Getting some early hits on the board. Can Lanzusaurus strike back? Oh, another big hit from Irritator. Ooh, Emerald Garden has been triggered. Could that be what Lanzusaurus needs? Well, Lanzusaurus really needs to get the next hit here, because even if they lose, they will still get points out of this match. Battle points, I should say. Oh, no! A one-sided massacre, and this fight is over! And yet, yeah, those points will be the battle points at the bottom, so Irritator will get 880, and Lanzusaurus will get 100. Disappointing start for Lanzusaurus, but a very good start if you're Irritator. Right, on to our next matchup. Let's announce the combatants. Okie dokie. In the red corner, we have got the dubious dino. It's Diceratops. Diceratops could be an interesting combatant in this tournament. More of a tie specialist. Well, the only tie specialist. Actually, no, we have a fit. We have a fit. In the blue corner, 
We got the big bad dino itself, the one-shot killing machine. It's Black T-Rex. Now this one will be your favourite. A favourite for this tournament by many. It has the built-in death fire. This could be a difficult map, a difficult matchup for Diceratops to go into. But let's not underestimate the competition. Ooh, Black T-Rex gets the first hit. It's a kamikaze tackle. Boosh. Strong start from the Black Tyrant. Oh, that's a tie. Diceratops does have Plasma Anchor. It is tie defense type. So ties might will sing favor. But look at that power of the Black T-Rex giving him an early lead. Oh, is that going to be game? Is that all, all she wrote for the Diceratops? Oh, what a hit. That'll do it for Black T-Rex. And it's a winning start for the favorite. Well, Diceratops at least got more points than Lanzusaurus did. <laughs> right, on to our third matchup. In the red corner. We have, we have got, got the dinosaur, dinosaur that likes beans. beans. It's Gastonia. That was the worst one so far. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we got Gastonia here. Got some. Uh, it's a tie tie specialist like Diceratops, but he has a bit more attack to it. In the blue square, the apex of the Jurassic, the dinosaur that wants to exist, but we don't know if it does. The Sorophaganax. Bing. One of the tournament hotshot Sorofagonax boasting a lot of attack power. In fact, like, pretty much the most attack power of any dinosaur in this tournament. So it will definitely be a force. But will it get off to a winning start? Oops. Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> we use a tie. Another tie. Uh, oh, we're going with a tie spam, but no sand traps, which is good news if you're Sora Fagonus, because the uh, Gastonia does have it. Oh, I jinxed him. I said there was no sand traps, but here comes a sand trap. And Sora Fagonus, let's see how you like your day at the beach. I don't think he liked it. And that is a good hit from the Gastonia here. And the Sorofagonax is in a bit of a pickle here. Can't seem to get going. Oh, look at that! The Sorofagonax on the brink of defeat. Ooh, does get a hit. How crucial could this hit be? Sorofagonax finally getting a hit on the board. Look at this! Oh, it's a volcano burst! The brute strength from the Sorofagonax saving him from an embarrassing loss to the Gastonia. How clutch could that volcano burst be? And Gastonia, a valiant effort, but just couldn't get that hit when it needed it. Right, on to our fourth match now. In the red square, we got the red tyrant. The dinosaur that conquers all, it's T-Rex. T-Rex is a very strong dinosaur. Overwhelming power with that crit. We could be in for a short match. In the blue corner, the shapeshifter mister. The dinosaur that started it all. It's Eoraptor. Transformed into Sorofagonax. Hmm, that means it's going to have heat eruption. This will be interesting. But yeah, unless Eoraptor gets some ties on the board, could be in for a quick match here if the T-Rex gets, especially if the T-Rex gets a crit. Gonna be a difficult one for Eoraptor to pull off, but ties will help. And that's not the start he wants. 
the T-Rex getting off the bat, getting the hit off the bat early. And it's a tail smash. Good hit there from the T-Rex. That's not even his crit. But now the Eoraptor is in a bit of trouble here because his T-Rex is hunter type. So if he gets a hit, it's going to do a lot more damage. Ooh, here's a tie, but no heat eruption. Ooh, a chance missed there from the Eoraptor. Oh, this fight's done. This fight is done. The Eoraptor's not going to survive this blazing spin. And that is a pretty quick, scorching victory for the T-Rex. Oh, wow. <laughs> Overwhelming the Eoraptor and dominating the round. Well played by the T-Rex. Right, on to our main event. Can the Purple Predator upset the odds against the fire types yet again? Let's find out. Okay, in the red corner, we got the dinosaur, the apex of Africa. Well, kind of an apex of Africa. It's Eocarcaria. Eocarcaria, one of one of many, one of four fire types in this tournament. But a bit more conservative compared to the other three, but still both strength. In the blue corner, he's purple, he's pesky, he's prickly, he's a predator, it's Edwomosaurus. The underdog that always seems to do well. I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's so strong. Like, he's one of the weakest dinosaurs in the game, yet it seems to somehow win. Well. This would be a huge upset if Sejuanosaurus pulls this off. Eocarcaria starting as the favourite. Interesting though that the Seji not going with Dino Illusion this time. And there's that tie effect, recovery effect. Another tie. That could come back to haunt them. Ooh, as a crit, a good start from Seji. But look at that, minimal damage. But this Jet Shuriken will add a little bit more damage to it. Tight. Your Karkiria responding with his first shot of the match. But look at the difference in damage there. Only double the damage the Sejuanosaurus did with his crit plus Jet Shuriken. Ooh, but Sejuanosaurus getting a hurricane beat. Now this is his most effective move here. So it'll be interesting to see how much damage he can do with it. Kickies. Kicky, kicky, kick, kick. I love, I love Sejuanosaurus. Oh, oh, what's this? It's a Jet Shuriken. And Eocarcaria has been humbled by the Sejuanosaurus. And that is a big upset. Sejuanosaurus doing it again. Well, for those of you that watched Sejuanosaurus, probably saw that coming. We'll have a look at our table and we can finish. We got Irritator, Black, T-Rex, T-Rex, Sejuanosaurus and Sorofagonax all getting off to winning starts. Irritate the top by virtue of the fact that they have more battle points. So battle points could be crucial here. And then we have Diceratops, Gastonia, Eocarcaria, Lanzusaurus and Eoraptor getting off to losing star. What a start to this tournament. The upset's happening right away. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this session. And if you did, please leave a like. Ring the bell to make sure you don't miss out on upcoming tournament matches. And until then, ta-ta.